Nadav Argaman, head of Israel's security agency, or Shin Bet, revealed that a foreign country plans to meddle in Israel's upcoming elections, according to Israel's Channel 2 News. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know who will benefit, Argaman said at a closed meeting of a Tel Aviv conference. Israel's army censor would not allow the publication of the name of the country. Argaman's remarks were widely reported in Israel media on Wednesday, prompting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to say, We are prepared to thwart any interference during the elections. No country is better prepared than we. A 15-year-old girl was stabbed and wounded in the Armon Hanetziv neighborhood in Jerusalem on Wednesday morning. The teenager was stabbed several times, including in her neck, while waiting at a bus stop. She was evacuated to Shari Tzedek Hospital in Jerusalem and is reportedly in light to moderate condition. Security forces launched a manhunt for the assailant. A former Israeli cabinet minister has confessed that he spied for Iran and, as a part of a plea bargain, will serve 11 years in jail. The Jerusalem District Attorney's Office said that a sentencing hearing for Gonev Segev, who served as Israel's energy and infrastructure minister in the 1990s, will be held on February 11th. Israel's security services say that Segev was first contacted by Iranian embassy officials in Nigeria in 2012. Shira Ishran was released from Shari Tzedek Hospital on Wednesday after recovering sufficiently from injuries suffered in a terror attack exactly a month ago. Ishran was seriously hurt in a shooting attack at a bus stop at the Ofra Junction on December 9th, in which her husband and five others were also wounded. Doctors performed an emergency cesarean section on Ishran, who had been 30 weeks pregnant but could not save the baby's life. Upon her release, Ishran thanked God for the quote-unquote ongoing miracle of her recovery. I came to the hospital flat on my back and I'm leaving on my feet. I have a lot to be thankful for, she said.